Hey guys, how are you doing? We're back with another gem, uh, gem box video this week and hopefully I'm going to resume doing these every Wednesday. I have not been doing them for a while but this week we're going to show you something a little different. Next week I've got emulators planned and the week after, who knows. This week we're going to take a look at remote play streaming. So as you guys know I have a PS4 and many of you probably do have a PS4. You can actually stream uh, your PS4 via remote play. Now if you log into a different account on the PS4 you can still use the PS4 controller uh, or if you log into a different account via um, the remote play app you can still use your PS4 controller so if your PS4 is not too far away from where you want to stream it to you do get a more responsive control with the PS4 controller directly connected than you do with the Mtech Gembox controller that is connected um, through the, the, the Gembox there is less latency because it's not going over a Wi-Fi connection. So first things first, you're going to want to sideload PS4 Remote Play. So you're going to want to download it from the internet. You want to make sure that you allow unknown apps to be installed in the settings of the Gembox, much like an Android device. And then you want to install it. And once you've installed it, we get the Remote Play app. It will ask you to log in for the first time, but after that, it should save your login details. And once we do this, it will search nearby and then it will search over Wi-Fi as you can see I think the Gembox is slightly limited in the sense that searching nearby it's not going to find anything because the only thing that can access uh, nearby via Bluetooth is um, the actual PS Vita I'm not sure if I can do it with the Gembox because I know it, it does do it via Bluetooth I think with or it does it via something direct connection which you can't do with the Gembox now obviously this will depend on your internet download speed and upload speed and as you can see mine is pretty damn terrible upstairs if I'm downstairs on the fibre though things are fine and dandy and the screen doesn't glitch out but you can see that I'm controlling with the Gembox and it will say to switch to your screen press the PS button and that's because I'm currently logged into my uh, other account now on this account I could do whatever I wanted and if the internet was sufficient enough I could actually get some decent gameplay footage for you guys and show how well it does actually work but like I said this won't work with a standard connection like mine upstairs unless your upload speed is really good because otherwise you lose connection with the PlayStation you have to have a fiber connection or something with a high upload speed for it to work well. So if you don't have either of those, it's not really worth you bothering to install the app. Personally, I do use this downstairs with the PlayStation in a different room downstairs and it works really, really well. If I have the PlayStation wired up in the kitchen and I have the gem box in the lounge, it means I can have it plugged into the kitchen so when everyone comes home, I can go into the kitchen and it's already plugged in or if I want, I can go into the lounge with the gem box and play it from there. But sadly, it's not working um, because I'm upstairs. So I apologize for that. But it does do it. So if you want to check it out, please do so. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike button, please comment below as to why you disliked because it really does help me out. I am trying to improve all areas. This year, I'm going to buy a new mic and a new setup. So I am trying to improve. So please do let me know in the comments section below how I can improve. And like I say, if you, if you can share this, it would be great. If you like it, hit the like button. And I shall see you soon, guys. Cheers.